this test, we're going to measure soil bulk density. The bulk density of your soil is taking a soil sample of a known volume and taking that weight. It's one way where we can figure out what compos the composition of your soil is and how much of it is mineral and solid matter compared to pore space for air exchange and water. For this test, you're going to need your smaller three inch diameter ring, a way to get it into the soil, so a sledgehammer and a block of wood. If you're working in a forage field with or any vegetative cover, you need some clippers to clear the vegetation. A labeled bag with your name and the location on it. A tape measure, a butter knife, and a hand trowel or small shovel. So first, clear off your, your area. Put your ring down, and watching your fingers, hammer it in. Once you have the, you want to take a measurement to see how much headspace is left in the cylinder. The goal is for two inches. Take that measurement at different angles in your ring and record them in your book. Yes. Next, you want to dig around your hole. Then with the shovel underneath the ring, you want to lift it up and you don't want to, you want to be careful not to lose any of the soil at the bottom of the ring. Then you take your butter knife and you cut it as flat as you can. Then you place it in your Ziploc bag and take it out of the pour. Once your sample is in the bag, you can take it back to the lab and you want to take a measurement. Uh, you'll take it back to the lab and take uh, weight of it as soon as possible. We want to know what the field wet weight is of your sample and we'll then walk you through the next steps of calculating your bulk density. You will also use this sample to do your soil aggregate test. You've gone out to the field and you've collected your bulk density sample and now it's time to take some weights and measurements to finish the bulk density calculation. The first thing you want to do is to collect the weight of your field moist soil plus the bag weight. This one is 253.5 grams. Now you also want to know what the weight of that bag is. So take the same type of bag that you use to collect your sample and collect that weight as well. This one is 5.5 grams. From your full bulk density sample, we want to collect a subsample. Today, we're going to be using these metal tins, and these are perfect if you're going to use an oven for the rest of the process. If you don't have an access to the oven and you're needing to use a microwave, make sure to use a paper cup. So to start, you want to get the weight of your paper cup or your metal tin. This one is five grams. 
And now you want to collect your subsoil, uh, subsample. So with your bulk density sample, make sure to mix it around. If it's still in that cylindrical sh shape, you want to kind of break it apart so you get a representative sample. And then you take your measuring cup and you take out one eighth of a cup. And you put it in to your tin. And this one is 34 grams. Once you have weighed your sample and recorded that information onto your data worksheet, it's time to dry your sample. If you are using a microwave to dry your sample, place your paper cup with the subsample into the microwave and dry for two or four minute cycles at full power. Open the microwave door for one minute in between the cycles to allow for venting. When the weight does not change after your drying cycle, the sample is finished. If you are using an oven, make sure to dry your samples at a temperature no hotter than 100 degrees Celsius. You can leave the samples in the oven for 12 hours to make sure that they are completely dry. Either way, once you have your dry sample weight, make sure to record that weight of your subsample plus the weight of the paper cup or tin onto your data worksheet and follow through with the calculations. Mm -hmm.